let's try this again. Hi, everyone, and welcome to my live. I hope all is well with all of you out there. So I have my lives dedicated to try my best to teach myself embroidery. Uh, there's a part of me that just kind of wants to just jump out there and, and you know, just grab a hoop and throw some fabric and stabilizer and just, just go with it. But it's just not that easy with embroidery for me. So what I've uh, decided to do is just go step by step by step and just, you know, learn the process because I really want to do a great job with this. I'm so excited about learning this embroidery. So with that being said, today I'm going to um, kind of briefly and just go a tad bit more in depth with the LCD setting and the operational panel key functions. So this won't be a long life at all. So, but before I do that, I want to share something with you. I realized that I did not have the updated version uh, for my PE 800. So I had to go through the steps of um, updating that. And I'm gonna share that with you. And um, maybe most of you are already aware of what to do, but I had no inkling. So maybe possibly uh, sharing this, I can help someone. So um, before I do that, what I'm gonna do is, I am going to um, add my PE 800 to the uh, stage here, okay, and remove myself so I can kind of show you um, what I learned about this. Let's see. I'm fairly with the screen here. Fairly with the screen. Okay. There, there we go. go. So, so okay. okay. Basically, what I'm going to do is go, go to settings. settings. Mm -hmm. so I'm gonna, I'm gonna I'm gonna come over here, here and I just want to share something with you. With you. In, In order, order to get your updates, updates to what version you have, initially, initially you want to come into settings. settings. Okay. okay. So, so we're going to go to page, and actually, just to let you know, and, uh, and uh, the, the number, number one is on page one, one of six. six. And, and I'm, I'm going, going to go to page six. six. Just, Just to kind of show you where, where it's located. This, this screen, screen here will show you what version you have. As you can see, see where state, state version is 1.11. That's the updated version. version. And, and what, what you would need to do is the first thing you would need to do, and I'm not going to do it because like I said, I just updated mine. And, and I, I wasn't, wasn't thinking, thinking about, oh, because I should have recorded this, this or something. something. But you, you want, want to turn your computer off first. first. Okay, I'm going to repeat that again. again. You, would you would turn your computer, your computer off first. first. Okay, and, and then, then you will want to hold the needle button here and hold it down and then turn your computer, computer on at the same time. time. So, so you will hold the needle button down and uh, turn your uh, embroidery machine on at the same time. And then at that point, you will receive a message to say, uh, update. So now I'm gonna come back to my desk and I'm going to see, add myself to the stage. Oh, I never did leave, did I? Okay. Okay, so also, you want to make sure that you have a dedicated uh, jump drive. You must have a dedicated, you see this here? Oh, let's see. This. Okay, you must have a dedicated, nothing else on this. Uh, there should be nothing else on that jump drive. It is specifically for your update. Okay, that's, that's something that I learned. Okay, okay. so next, what you, you so once you turn everything on, like I said, you want to make sure your computer is off first, and then you're going to select that middle button and on at the same time, and you'll see a message. And then from there, I'm going to enter. What you really want to go to on Google right here? Okay, she come up. Okay, so this right here, brother, you're going to go to Google and you're going to type it in support.brother.com. So now, what I'm going to do is uh, bring that up. So I'm going to remove 
this here. And I'm going to add, kind of walk you through what I had gone through. And I hope this helps someone out there. I had to just kind of go through it. And it's like, oh my goodness. So, okay. So as I was stating, after you type uh, type in that, what did I say? Uh, support. Where was it? My notes. Okay. Support.brother.com. You're going to receive a screen like this. Okay. So I have a brother PE 800. So you would type in whatever pro, you know, whatever type of model embroidery machine you may have. So I typed that here and then I had come down and here are the selections. And I selected the home sewing machine. Okay. And then you have that here with the PE 800. So then it says where I had recently selected the PE 800. And then the next screen here I wanted to share with you, it states here, software 1.11 is available. Please click here. So I'm going to click just so I can share this information with you. And de depending on what machine you have a Windows, a Mac, you have a Windows, you will select that. And I selected OK. OK, at this point, I'm just going to open up the tab so that you can see. So here's my PE 800. And depending on your country, you will select your country. Uh, here's a copy of the manual. And you possibly could, you know, to can troubleshoot or anything like that. But OK, getting back to the uh, update. Update information. We have that here, which is the version 1.11. And then the supported uh, OS or whatever they call that. Um, and in mine is Windows 11. And the compatible model, the PE 800 that I have and this other INNOV. And then here are notes before downloading. Okay. So once you've done all that, you would agree. It would download. You would come here. Let's see if I can. Mine is still there. And this is what I had here. Right here. Once you select that, you would at that point, you know, go through the process of uh, adding it to your jump drive. So once you've done that, you would come over and bring it back to your um, embroidery machine for the upload. So you would just follow those prompts. It would explain all of that to you. So um, also, I want to share this too. Once you have a come, okay, I can come back. Allow me to. I'm going to get out of this now. Let's see, and um, I'm going to remove this. I just wanted to share that. I hope that was helpful for someone possibly, but I wasn't aware that I didn't have the update and I had to go through that process. So, but I want to also share this with you. Once I completed the the uh, download, I before removing my USB jump drive, I turned the computer off first. Once you know, once you know it's updated, and you will see the prompts. It was just take you step by step by step. I turned my computer off first. Let me look at my notes. Yeah, I turned my computer off first. Then I removed my uh, the little jump drive. And then I, not computer, I'm sorry, embroidery machine. I turned it off first. I removed the jump drive. And then I uh, turned the embroidery machine back on. And then you're good to go. And then at that point, you, you could go back to the settings, go to page six, and look down at that bottom. And you should have the 1.11 version. So again, I just wanted to share that with you. So yeah, I had to take care of that first. And uh, before I was able to move on to the next. So now, like I said, um, this probably won't take too long today. What I want to go over again, like I said, pretty much are my the LCD um, settings and just quickly go over my uh, the operational panel keys just to kind of get a feel for that. Because I'm getting to the point where I'm almost, I think within the next couple of weeks, I will start the process of, you know, adding the, um, well, before I do that, I'm going to um, uh, add uh, three different supplies that I would need for uh, embroidery. For instance, stabilize, stabilizer, uh, the spray, the, I guess, stabilizing spray, uh, fabric, uh, different 
scissors, just, you know, just different supplies we would need for that, uh, the hoops, learning all that. And, and I'm, I just want to take my time, not rush and learn it, you know, because uh, I have plans. I have plans and uh, I don't have that brain where, you know, some people, they can learn just like that. You show it to them or whatever, and they can, they just have it. It doesn't work like that for me. <laughs> I'm going to have to go step by step and that's okay. So, okay. So now what I'm going to do is I am going to add a uh, brain, brain my machine back, back to the, the, uh, the, the stage, stage here. here. And, and uh, let's see here. And, and then we'll go, go from there. there. Okay. okay. So, so I'm moving, moving over, over here. here. And as you can see, I was in this is area, area, but I'm, I'm going, going to, to uh, uh, Select, select the back. This, this here, here is back. back. So, so I want to go back to the, to the beginning. beginning. So, so let's, let's see. see. Oh. Okay. Grab my little notes. notes. So, so excuse, excuse my little finger, finger but I'm just going to use my finger. I have my little pointer here. Initially, I said, well, maybe I'll use my little pointer. Little pointer. But then, then I'm like, you know what? what? Forget it. I'm just pointing at it. So, okay. This, this here, the first box here, here this, this is the embroidery pattern. pattern. So that's, so that's what my pattern is. I'm not going to open it quite yet. yet. I just this first, first one is just going to say what each box or cap exactly what it is. So, so again, again, this is the embroidery pattern. pattern. This, this is rather exclusive. exclusive. So, so those, those are additional ones. Uh, the next, next one here are the floral alphabet. alphabet. I, I have, have the character, character pattern. pattern. I have the frame pattern. pattern. And, and this, this is, is the embroidery uh, unit that um, you always, always press this and you're going to remove, remove it. it. Whenever, Whenever you want to remove, remove that. that. And that's, and that's on, on my first line when this, this here. This little machine here. here. See this, this here? It it actually, that's, that's part of the unit. All of this, you can actually pull it and remove it. it. So, so, um, so, so, so this, this is what we would use there. And we have um, the, the patterns, patterns that stay here, here in the memory. And lastly, I have my, uh, this, this here will show what's saved in my USB drive, which at this point I have nothing. I haven't done anything. So, so that's basically it with my LCD settings, settings right? So, so next, next we're going to look at the operation panel uh, key function. So, so where, where we were here, here this, this is, is back. And as you can go back and forth, which I had done previously. This, this here is called the presser foot needle exchange. I'm going to we'll select, select that. So, so whenever, whenever you select this, this stops everything and locks the computer system. system. This, this uh, is a way. This is a function, function to ensure there are any injuries. For instance, if you are um, threading a needle, or maybe you are winding, winding your bobbin, this, this ensures that nothing works. It, it just Blocks everything and stops the system. system. So uh, you're getting any problems or any injuries. So that's great. Right. So when you're done with that and you're ready to get back to your embroidery, you just select, select it again. So that's, that's a great, great feature. feature. Absolutely. So this here is previous. This here we haven't done anything yet. Select it. Okay. Uh, next is the embroidery key. And um, I, I haven't, haven't started anything. Like I said, we're just kind of going over step by step, by step and we were just in the uh what did i say the uh the settings so, so that's, that's the setting key and uh this, this is the help key so okay, okay so, so now that being said let's, let's let it allow me to go back to oh, the where i'm oh no this is the second here oh, oh, Okay. It, it is, is so much to learn, learn with 
this, this important. But, but we want to look at the year coming out, or, or many of you, or whomever, whomever, you know, just like I said, this, this is just my journey, journey and, and I'm just, just sharing it. And when we look back to see where, where you started, started and to, to, where, to the point of where you're going in the future, future. It's, it's a beautiful thing because you have to start somewhere. I always try to encourage everyone you need to get to start somewhere. So, I'm in the beginning, beginning, but I do it over time. time. You know, I'll move forward. Okay. So, so, okay. so, so that, that was the key right? right? This was our I'm, I'm sorry, I'm sorry. I'm sorry. I'm so, uh, you, you see, see the one, one with the 13? That is one, one for on page one of 13. 13. So let's, so let's kind of just, just again, again this next, next, we're going to do two, three, and just, just look at the different patterns that are all going to slow down. down. Oh, this, oh, this is new. I'm going to go back. back. It's so, so cute. cute. Maybe, Maybe I'll, I'll try, try that, that from a person. It's, it's not too difficult. difficult. Look like, like it's, it's only a couple, couple colors. That's, that's cute. cute. I'm, I'm not sure. sure. But, but we'll, we'll see. Okay. Six. Oh, I oh, like number 27, 27 as well. Eight. Maybe I'll live on the edge and just go and just grab something that has 12, 13 different colors. <laughs> It's okay to dream. So anyway, okay. So that was the 13 and just showing different patterns. And remember, we can uh, add different patterns and designs with our uh, jump drive. So I uh, absolutely love Creative Fabric. So I know that I'm going to put, you know, add different designs huh, from uh, Creative Fabric. So I'm looking forward to that. So, okay. So now that I've done that, I'm going to go back. Okay. So now let's look at Brother Exclusive. Oh, that butterfly is so cute. Okay. So we have one of 14 pages. And uh, if I'm not mistaken, and I don't want to say anything out of line because that's what this is about. It's just learning. But I do believe we're going to bring the stick here. I do believe this. these here are based on my hoops, the frame sizes. Okay. Large, medium, and small. I do believe, and then I guess extra small or circle or I'm not sure. Maybe that's for like a little cap or something small. I believe. We'll get to that. But I do think it has something to do with that. So let's see what the patterns are here on Brother, on the Brothers Exclusive. Okay. Oh, that butterfly is really cute. Number four. Okay, let's see. Okay. Anyone out there, how are you going to coming along with your embroidery? If anyone is into the embroidery, how are you coming along? What was it like when you first started the process? <laughs> are you still hanging in there? You know how it is when you're on the ground. This is the groundwork. And I think, you know, sometimes once you get past the groundwork and you look back, and it's like, oh, my goodness, I really, oh, that number 40 is cute, the little teddy bear. Did I really uh, master this? Or if not master, at least get to the point that I understand the lingo. And that's, <laughs> you know, just I can actually have an intelligent conversation with someone in regards to embroidery. And uh, it's coming. 14. Okay, so then we're going to select that. And then here are our, uh, what did I say? Those are our uh, floral al alphabet. Eight pages. I'm going to quickly go through those. Okay. A couple flowers there. So then, you know, once you get to where you're going, you hit back. Okay, so next we have the um, frame, uh, I'm sorry, the character patterns. Okay, 
Okay, different fonts here. There were only two pages. I don't know what language, 9 through 11. I'm not sure what languages those are, but okay. All right, so we're going to go back. Then my frame patterns. So the basic, the basic patterns. Oh, back. I wonder if, if I select that, even though I, oh, look at that. Oh, you know, when I first purchased, uh, and that's been a few years back, I had it just sitting there in the dust and I finally said that was the end of that. I forgot that I had placed that there just playing around Hmm. playing around with it yeah it's been so long i forgot that that was still there so okay we're gonna go back let's see if we can i don't think I, oh okay this is media is not loaded so that's just for us to understand say okay because i knew i didn't have anything i haven't really done anything with that so so we'll go back oh wait oh we are there okay so now we are at the main screen but you know I want to try something and I don't have a clue. Let me grab my other notes. I'm just curious about something. Let's see. Okay, there was no. One through six. Oh, just okay. That's the five by five by seven here. We can as we can see. Embroidery frame identification view. Okay, I'm going to most definitely need to read up on that. I just kind of want to go through it to see what options we have and what's what. So um, let me let me grab my notes and see if I see anything on that. Let's see. So number one here, I'm looking at my notes, and this is uh this is where we would select embroidery frame that's that to be used so this here let's see, push something i'm just push for this what's this okay did you see the difference over there okay that's uh that's the embroidery frame to be used and then this down here number two well not two oh what is this let's see this determines the center point marker and grid that are displayed. Okay, there's that grid there. Okay, that's the grid. Uh-oh, I'm learning. Okay, let's see. I'm just kind of going through. This on and off. Okay, the on and off, it says... When to set on the embroidery pattern can be selected according to the embroidery frame size that you have selected in number one. Okay, so this is just like I said, we're just kind of going through this to just get a feel. Sometimes just look at it so it's not so foreign because I believe uh, my next, well, no, my next live, I will uh, thread everything that we're going to wound the bobbins. Uh, we're going to thread the needle, um, really getting ready because I think um, after that, there are a couple more looking at my notes because I'm just going through the book step by step. Uh, I would be ready. I should be ready to really start the process of uh, actually getting into the embroidery probably within the next couple of weeks. Yeah, the next couple of weeks. So, okay, uh, coming back to this, so then I'm going to select next, okay? So here where it says one, two, three, this is where I would change the thread color display on the embroidery screen. Okay. And then underneath there, let me I'm trying to make sure. Yeah. And then over here, the one underneath there, it states, okay, where the thread has been selected, I will select uh, from six thread brands. 
So like I said, we're not there yet. So I don't even have a, don't know at this moment, but it's just good to just look and see it. Just see what's good, you know, just have an understanding because like I said, I'm, for the most part, I am reviewing this as I go because uh, I'm really watching, uh, reviewing videos and working hard on my finals and stickers and all that i really watched videos and that it was just it's so much that i said you know what i need to slow down and um behind the scenes i'm really working on those uh crafts and then i'll just dedicate a day that i'll just come live and just kind of go through the process no hurry i'll get there i'll get there okay so moving on to the next okay the maximum so here the maximum speed Okay, that tells us the maximum speed. Okay, so let's see. Is this the highest? Let's see if it goes up any higher. Oh, okay, so 650 is the highest. I'm, and then we can, okay. And then it looks like we have our, uh, hold on, I'm looking at these notes over here. Okay, like the ruler that whether it's inches, millimeters. Oh, so it's inches it is. I'm horrible with those millimeters. So okay. Now let's go on to the next page and see what we have. The embroidery retention. Now something I heard about the embroidery with intention, the embroidery retention is the higher the number, the more tense and the lower. Uh, the thread is not as tight. That's my understanding. That's my understanding of it. But like I said, I'm still learning. But I'm pretty sure that's that's the deal. I'm not sure how. Oh, that's eight. Okay, the highest there is eight. Next, uh, we have our thumbnails. So look like there is two sizes there. Seem like it's a uh, self-explanatory a large and a small there and so let's see next for where we can change the color like you can select let's see oh okay see let's try something oh look like i said go up see that gray and the pink over to the right come down okay so there we are so we can select um our color patterns Oh, I'm, I'm so excited, everyone. I cannot wait. Okay, so let's see. So then back, and I guess that's the same. Yes. Okay. Okay, so we're going to go back. Let's go to the next page. So our needle position. Like I have a needle position up or down. See, get this right there. Okay, up and down, and then the buzzer. What is this buzzer? Let's see what this is. Okay. It, oh, okay. It's um. You can select thirteen um to decide whether to hear the beep operation sound. Oh, okay. I'm gonna think about that. So at this point, it's on. So. Maybe I'll just leave it as is. I'll just leave it just the way it is. So the next one I have, it is the opening screen. This here, the opening screen. And basically, this selects whether to display the opening screen when the machine is turned on. Oh, okay. And I'll show you that right before, once I finish this. And basically, you know, when you turn it off and it comes on and it shows like a, I think I'll leave that on. It shows uh, just different little pictures of like, a, I can't recall, but it's just different pictures. I think there's a pillow and something else, but okay, we'll look at that really quick. Um, after I complete the, we get to six pages, because like I said, this is basically all was going over today. And when, as far as the embroidery and I don't know. Let me see. I don't think I could. Anything had come up on help, but let's finish these last two pages and then I'll see. Okay. Next, I have the um. Oh, English. Okay. So let's see. Let's 
Oh, Turkey, Korean. Oh, this is pretty cool. Okay. Let's go the other way and see what we find. English, German, France, except Italian. Okay. So I'll return that back to English or whatever your uh whatever works for you, your country, you can select. For me, it's English here. So uh let's see. Is that it? Let's go to the next page, page five. And that's the light. So yeah, I want the light on. So I'm gonna I'm most definitely gonna keep that. Yeah. And input sensitivity. I'm going to need to look that up. I'm going to do research on that. I'm not sure what input sensitivity, what that entails. But uh, when I return on the next live, I'll have information on that because that's the key. Usually I just, if it's something I don't understand, I sit and I want to watch videos and say, okay, what is this? Everything else for the most part was self-explanatory. And, uh, and then maybe I'll understand even more once we take it to the next level and we begin to really, uh, or I begin to really, you know, start working uh, hands on with the embroidery. Again, these, like I said, the jargons, the understanding in the embroidery world, it, it, it takes time. So, okay, that's page five. And so, because here, let's see, it states, uh, Yeah, that's all it says is the level of input sensitivity for operation keys. So, yeah, I'm going to have to research that. So on to the next. And this is the page I had shown everyone on the service count, the total count, um, and just information and the version. So I'm going to go. I wonder if I can go back a couple. And I want to see. No, I'm going to go here and then is, is it possible? Oh, nothing happened. I was wondering if I selected help, if anything would come up. Okay. Nothing. Okay, so that I will say that for the next video. So input sensitivity, I want to do a little research on. And also the help, but I could have sworn. Let's see. So that was all of that. Let's go back to the bikini. Let's see if I could. Oh, look at that. Okay. I went back and I selected the question mark for the help. And what prompted was how to thread around the bobbin, thread the needle, um, add a um, what do you call that? Oh, look at this. Let's see. Hey, let's just punch. Let's just. Oh, step by. Look at this. Step by step on how to actually thread the needle and it's going over the. That's my next live. I'm actually preparing for that now, kind of just to somewhat preparing. Like I, I glance at it, but I don't review it the way I do all my other crafts. You know, I just want to come and have some form of at least glancing at the book. So that's pretty cool. Okay. And so when I was talking about that pressure foot, okay, yeah, you select that. It will stop everything because there you go. You threaten the needle. Okay. 10. Okay, see that? So they're done when they select that and see. And there, okay, there you go. So let's go back. See, is there something else? What's this? Let's see. Okay. So it's just step step by step tutorials.
Oh yeah, I uh, watched a video. Speaking of looking at the scissors, I was uh, watching videos as I've been trying to learn to, uh, you know, embroidery just here and there. Just watching videos, and uh, there was a lady that there's an individual that stated that you should always cut it th as far as just embroidery in general. Cut the thread, and this is the thread for the actual project at the top and then pull the thread from the needle at the bottom. I'm gonna review that again to make sure the information is correct. But I do have it because I was taking notes at one point in time, but cut the thread, not for the bobbin, just in general, just the thread, the top. So we'll go over that later too, but just looking at this, I thought of that. I thought of the video, okay. Just gonna jump through it a little bit. Well, this look as if you are changing, need to change your needle. Okay. All right. Let's see, let's take a glance of this. Our on and off. Okay, let's see. Um, let's see here. Let me get something. Grab my notes again. Okay. Let's see. Okay, let's see here. See, I have to refer back. Okay, well, that was the embroidery unit that we were just looking at. Yeah, that was the embroidery unit here. That I was saying underneath there, there's a little latch. Yeah, okay. And then here. That look like that's the back of the pressure foot. Okay, so that's when we're ready to really attach our um, hoops and our stabilizer. Uh-oh, I'm so excited, everyone. Okay. All right, and then lastly, let's glance at this. And that's that needle. Scissors, okay. There we go. All right, so we're back to the main LCD setting. All right, I'm gonna come back and come on the screen here. Let's see, I wanna look at my chat. And thank you. Thank you so much, I appreciate you coming in and I too am uh, dedicated to conquering my fears. It's amazing. I'm still conquering my fears. Even allow me to come back to the. Hold on. Yeah, looking at this message, I'm actually at the point where I am still conquering my fears of even coming on to uh, this uh, live. I'm still a little nervous. Um, yeah, learning new things is most definitely gratifying, but I too, I'm, I'm, I'm nervous. Uh, it's so much easier to just edit if you, if you mess up and you can just correct it and move on, but it is what it is. I'm very human. We're out here, and uh, my thing is, that's what it's all about. I just really want to just share my journey. All I can do is just just do me. That's that's it. So hopefully, you know, that um, there are other people out there that's 
at a point where whatever, whether it's embroidery, whatever it is, my goal is I hope I inspire someone to say, you know what, whatever it is I enjoy, I'm going to go for it. That's my goal because we get one life and um, find what you love and you enjoy and just just go for it. Just enjoy. You know, we, we do. We, got, we have to snatch a little bit of our happiness, you know, along the way. So but anyway, that was what I wanted to go over today. I just uh, basically wanted to tap into that area. My next live, um, like I said, it's all about threading everything up, the bobbins, um, all of that good stuff. And then um, I think from there, it's going to get to the point uh, from the from the uh, notebook that I have uh, or the uh, the guide, the manual guide that then it began to get into uh, the different the hoops, I believe. I think that's what's going on, the hoops, the stabilizer and all that. But before I do that, something else I'm going to do is I want to pull together like maybe a list of uh, terms, uh, common terms that's used in the, in the embroidery world. Because if you're going to have a conversation or if something were to happen and it's like, okay, I'm stuck here. I need to reach out and um, and to receive some form of service. I want to speak with, uh, with some form of intelligence. So that's where I would need to do my homework first. So I'm going to do that. I'm going to just pull up common terms that's used uh, in embroidery world, share that, and supplies. I've purchased, uh, I would have purchased a few supplies that I'm going to bring and um, kind of label them. I have some um, sticky notes. So I'm just going to label and say, okay, we're going to need this, that, and all that kind of good stuff. And uh, I've been learning terms. Like I uh, watched a video and I heard a term of a, uh, Something about a knockout. See, I still can't even <laughs> tell you exactly what it is. What did they say? Something about a knockup or a pile. Or... Oh, you know what? I'm going to stop. I'm going to stop and before I say this, something that... <laughs> but anyway, what I'm saying is there are terms that it actually means something in the embroidery world. And um, so I'm going to educate myself on that. So uh, with that being said, I'm going to look at the uh, chat right quick before I end this live. Uh, just keep swimming. <laughs> I plan on it. Oh, yeah. Thank you. Okay. Yes. I think that's it. So anyway, um, thank you. Thank you so much for um, joining the live. Uh, I enjoyed myself. And I hope, you know, like I said, I'm new. And if there's someone else out there that's trying to learn as well, I hope I was able to share uh, uh, any form of information. Like I said, I'm not a teacher. This is my journey. I'm just whatever I, you know, pick up on and I learn, I just share with you. And possibly you may have information that you may want to share and say, hey, you know, you know, you may want to do it this way and not that way. I'm all open for suggestions and um, I uh, appreciate any form of feedback. So with that being said, I hope you all have a blessed evening and um, thank you again. And I will see you on the next live. Be blessed.